Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Project Hospital, where we very nearly have hospitalisation all set up and ready to go over in our emergency department. We've got the trauma centre in, there is our wonderful new and also very expensive to put together trauma centre. It turns out that all of the wonderful life-saving equipment does not come cheap, but there we go, we got there in the end, it's all in, and that's all ready to go. That really is effectively the ER, isn't it? That's where all the lives are saved and the TV dramas are set and all that kind of stuff. But that's that room is all ready to go. I mean, it's very big. It's a huge, big room right now. But as quite a few people in the comments have pointed out, we can put more than one operating table in here. We could have many of those in here, saving many lives at once. So I think we'll do that at some point when the money comes in. So that room is all ready to go. And then, of course, we have our observation room over here. Again, only one bed in here right now. So we are going to need more of those at some point. But it'll do for the moment. At least that room is sort of, you know, valid and ready to go. So now all we need to do is to get the nurses station in and the on-call room. And then of course we need some staff, which does mean we get to spin the wheel of names, which is quite fun. But right now what we need is a big pile of money because currently we've got what, just over $6,000 and that doesn't really buy you very much stuff. So I think what we need to do is, we need to tick time on for the day nice and quick, get some cash into the hospital coffers, and then we'll come back and just add a few more bits and bobs in. But really it's gonna be these two rooms over here. And then we can at least get this up and running on a very sort of basic level. It's not going to be wonderful because there's only one operating table and only one recovery bed but I think you know as time ticks on and more money comes in we can add to this and the plan eventually is for that room to be quite big our kind of recovery area is going to be huge just uh, yeah it's quite little right now due to financial constraints but yeah that'll get bigger as we get more money in so um yes we do need huge big piles of cash please that would be wonderful not that much coming in right now I assume that we didn't have it looks like maybe we don't have anybody staying in overnight in orthopedics because they do normally pay quite nicely in the morning. We normally get quite a big kind of uh, cash boost by all the people paying for their overnight stays. But no, it doesn't look like that's the case. Uh, never mind. Never mind. That's OK. Look, we're coming up to 10 grand. That's not so bad. So, uh, yeah, the money will tick up slowly but surely. Yeah, nothing much going on in orthopedics, look. Oh, no, hang on. Yes, there is. I say that. We have an operation underway right now, which is wonderful. Okay, so hang on. What is going on there? Uh, no, hang on. That's one of the doctors. I want to see what's happening. What is happening to our patient here? Um, can I click the patient? There we go. William Barclay is being treated for a dislocated shoulder. It does sound very unpleasant. However, what's going to sound quite pleasant to us is that, um, yeah, it's going to give us two and a half grand. That's very welcome. I quite like that. That's very good. But, uh, but yes, hopefully they can sort that out for poor William over there. But there we go. I mean, another thing we need to do after all this is kind of sorted over here and that's up and running even on a very basic level, even just with the one bed and the one operating table, we do need to think about adding some bits and bobs to radiology. Because, of course, last time we saw a great big spate of people with injured clavicles. I don't know what they were doing to injure their clavicles all at the same time, but they did. Um, and then, yeah, we couldn't properly diagnose it because we didn't have the CT scanner thing. So I think at some point we do need to add some more radiology options. But, you know, we need some more money to come in first. And what's happened here? Flying Puffball has leveled up. Oh, that's very good. Good job, Flying Puffball. Hang on, pause time for a second. So I think we can change their specialization can't we so they've got orthopedics and we want to keep them with that because that's the department they're in so that would make sense so i want to keep them being an orthopedic specialist but they've also picked up anesthesiology okay so do we want to change this to advanced diagnosis orthopedic surgery that sounds like it might be quite useful or keep anesthetics um hang on a second can we look can we see how many of the people have got orthopedic surgery specialization? Because if it's a one, then we might as well give that to Flying Puffball and they can help out a bit. Um, how, do, how do we see that exactly? Hang on a second. Uh, let's go to, go to orthopedics. Uh, ah, there we go. Right, is that a list of staff? Yeah, staff table. There we go. Um, right. So it looks like, yeah, second specialization. So Danny Powell has got a bit of that skill and Twisted Queen does, but that's it. Nobody else has got orthopedic surgery specialization. Okay, that makes sense, and I think, I think, yes, Flying Puffball, we could find you, uh, change that to orthopedic surgery. There we go, so we now have three people 
set up with that. That's very good. Okay, yeah, that's wonderful. Top stuff. There we go. Good job, Flying Puffball. Very nice. Right, okay, we can move time on again now. But, I mean, yeah, they're going to start with a skill of zero. We could train them up, I suppose. That will take somebody out of the um, out of the sort of shift for a while, won't it? I don't think we'll train them up right now, but we do want to train people up eventually. So, yeah, we can perform better in our lovely hospital duties. But, uh, yeah, right now, that's okay. Uh, what are we on? About 12 and a half grand coming up to... Around lunchtime, I would say. Maybe so, yeah, the middle of lunchtime. Uh, yeah, we could do with a bit more money than that, please, folks. We need some more cash because we need to build many things over here. Many computers and many desks and much in the way of lovely things need to go into these rooms because we do want to have you know, a good number of staff. I think the minimum, was it one nurse and one doctor or something? I think we might need a little bit more than that. So I think we'll try and get a couple in. So maybe sort of two for the day shift, two for the night shift of each. So we're going to need a good number of desks and computers and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, OK. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's going up to 16 grand. Yeah, if we could get over 20 grand, that would be really helpful. And anything over that is a bit of a bonus. But we have got more people coming in because it's flu season, apparently, according to that. Um, OK. Yeah, look at that. We've got 51 more people coming in. Um, OK, Brooke Adams. What have you been doing? Another clavicle problem. <laughs> what are you all doing? What are you all doing? Stop going to clavicle club. I know you're not allowed to talk about it, but stop breaking or fracturing whatever it is, your clavicles. Yeah, we can't do anything about it because we need the CT scammer thing to try and work this out. But we haven't got one of those and we're saving all our money for the other bits over here. So at the moment, I'm afraid you're going to have to go to another hospital. I do apologize. I'm very sorry. We're working on it. We need to buy some more equipment. If you'd like to donate to the hospital charity, that would be wonderful. And then we could buy some fancy equipment. But yeah, that's not going to help you out much right now. Um, OK, so what are we looking at? 21 grand. That's OK. That's OK. We're over 20 grand. But of course, we have to pay wages out of this. So all the wages will come back out and we won't be left with that much. But that was quite a big chunk of money. We just got a grand. We got 1,000 money just about came in. Um, OK, so two people still waiting. Not great, but not the end of the world either. That's OK. At some point, we do want to get another doctor surgery in to bring us up to, what's that, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Yeah, OK. Uh, there's no free bed for the required hospitalisation. HDU hospitalisation. Hang on, what? What? You've got carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, oh, cry. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Pause time. Do we need to get you a new bed? Um, is already somebody in that bed? Oh, there's loads of people. There's loads of people staying overnight. This is wonderful for our bank balance. If not for all you lot. I suppose you're recovering, though. Um, yes, you need to go to HDU hospitalization uh, over in orthopedics. OK, how about then we get another... Oh, it's going to be expensive, though. <laughs> but we are going to get 2,600 monies back. Um, OK, fine. We might have to do it. We might have to bite the bullet and get another bed in. Right. So if we can just copy, say, that, that could be quite helpful. Is that going to be helpful? Is that going to mess things up? Oh, yeah, there's something I need to change. I put a power thing on the wall outside. Hang on. We'll do that in a second. So that's going to copy the bed. Oh, it's going to copy the window as well. Not ideal, but we'll sort that out in a second. Right. So prefab can go there. Yeah, it's put a wall in. We don't we don't need the wall. We don't need the wall game. That was about six grand. Botherations. OK, never mind. Never mind. But it is required. We'll we'll put a screen in or something at some other point. But right now, that's OK. Um, so is that now sufficient for Chappie over there? Can you? There you go. Hospitalised, transported to room. OK, so are you being moved to... Whereabouts are you? You better not be in there. You better not be in there. I've just built a, a new bed for you because apparently you needed a new bed. Ah, right. You're being moved to the other place. OK, hang on. Let's watch. Just make sure that he's being moved. Yeah, he's going into HDU. OK, that's fine. That's fine. Right. So he's over here. So we still have four patients over here, which is pretty good. And look at that. Who are you? That's Twisted Queen. Just doing a little bit of a check up on you. OK, that's good. That's good. There we go. Right, so money is now, yeah, 17,000. That's going to come down when we pay the wages. We just need to buy some desks. Um, 
okay, do you know what? We'll buy the absolute minimum and then we'll add to things later on. It's going to be really, really basic over here. Yeah, look at that. Only nine grand. <laughs> it's not much at all. Um, okay, right. Pause time for a second. What, what do we need to get these rooms working at the absolute bare minimum? Okay, so over here, the on-call room is going to need a desk and a computer for each doctor we want. So, hospitalization. So, staff at night. Uh, oh, no, hang on. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I was thinking, we haven't got night staff over here. Yeah, so we need one in the day and one at night, at least. But I would say possibly we get two in the day and one at night. So I think each room's going to need at least two computer desks in. Okay, we can do that. That's fine. Um, so, again, the most minimal we can do. That office desk is 199 monies. Um, oh, hang on a minute. What about that one, though? Uh, I do like those ones more. I like these ones more. They've got slightly more exciting colours, however, and they're a bit cheaper. And I don't think it makes any real difference. So let's put... Let's put them along this wall here. So we'll have one there and one there and swivel it round. We'll have one there and one there. Do you know what we do need, actually, in these rooms here? We need some windows. That's what we need. I, again, I know it's not crucial, but I think yeah, they should have some windows. They should have some natural light, should the doctors and the nurses. So hang on a minute. So yeah, pop some windows in. That's quite nice. And we can have windows along this side as well. We'll just sort of pop some in across there because that's the edge of the hospital. So lovely. It's quite nice and nice, bright and breezy over there. Very good. Um, okay, so then we need to go back to here and we just want to get some chairs. So chair and a chair and a chair. Oh, hang on. No, I want to change the colour of the chairs. Um, yeah, do we have them yellow? It's sort of yellowy, isn't it? Hang on a minute. We need to change the colour of the chairs. Sorry. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Slight readjustment of style. Um, yeah. Okay. So the chairs can be yellowy chairs. And then everybody needs a PC for 300 of the monies each. So we can have one and two and three. And it's not happy with that one. And four. And then everyone can have a printer as well. So we'll pop printers in. So printer, 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 printer. Okay. Is that valid? Are those rooms now up and running? And uh, Right, no. Okay, definitely. I think that one is. I think the on-call room is valid. It's a really sad, depressing, fairly rubbish room. In fact, does it even need to be that big? Does it need to be that big? Because it has been suggested in the comments that maybe, maybe we could put ourselves a sort of a bathroom over here. So people who are over here in this particular thing don't have to walk over there to go to the loo. They could come down here. Yeah, that room does seem big, doesn't it? It does seem very big. I mean, we know they need to be sort of big because we saw over here there's quite a few bits and bobs to go in them. But maybe that's a bit too big. Okay, now I'm thinking about readjusting the size of these rooms. <laughs> oh no, we've only got five and a half grand left to play with. Um... Okay, but yeah, we could put a bathroom across the end there. That would be quite good, wouldn't it? Just put a little place where people can nip to the loo. Or a bathroom here, maybe, so it's a bit nearer. Maybe that's what we do, put a bathroom there. They don't need to be huge, the bathrooms. However, we can't afford one of those right now, I don't think. Because we could just pick up that one and drip a dropper. How big is that? How big is that bathroom? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So it's five. So if we had a bathroom of one, two, three, four, five, those rooms would, they'd still be a decent size. I think they'd be a decent size. And the on-call room can be smaller than the nurse's station. The nurse's station has more stuff in it. Um, do you know what? I think that's what we'll do. I think we'll fiddle about with that a bit more. But again, right now, it's another day. Hang on, let's fly through time, shall we? Straight on till morning, because we've only got five and a half grand. We can't do much with five and a half grand, let's be honest. But hopefully tomorrow, with all of the people in these beds, there are four people in these beds, they can pay us some decent money. And then we might be able to go and build ourselves a bathroom that we sort of didn't need, but now I kind of feel like we do need. And um, yes, then we can go and get the rest of those rooms sorted. And then we can open up hospitalization and it shall all be very exciting indeed. But uh, yeah, we need some more money to do that. And I think at seven o'clock in the morning we should actually see how much money we've got left when we pay the night staff wages 
which I don't think is that much. I might come down to about, what, four grand or something, but that's okay, that's fine. Right, so let's see, shall we? Let's get to about seven in the morning and see what money we have left. Okay, so night shift ends, and yeah, we've got about four and a half thousand dollars. Not very much at all, but then, yes, if we go and look over here, we might see lots of money pouring in from all of the overnight stays, which could be handy. Can you all please pay up? I want I want to build some toilets, and also I want to kit out a nurse's station. Only 720 monies. Oh, that was a bargain. You got an absolute bargain there. There you go, two and a half grand. That's a little bit more like it. So it's not even nine o'clock and we're over 10 grand. That is pretty good going. There's another 2,600. That is wonderful. Okay, right. So we should, I think, by the end of today, we should be able to get this all up and running and that'll be very wonderful. But yeah, we're still a little bit short of cash. I'm hoping that when this is in, this can generate a huge amount of money and it can kind of, you know, pay itself off. It can kind of pay for all the building work and the equipment and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, let's see if we can just get it actually up and running first, shall we? Also, whilst we wait, keeping an eye on the gift shop just to see if anybody does come in and buy a gift because, of course, last time we saw one person couldn't buy a gift because we'd sent our gift shop vendor person away to actually train in doing better gift shop vending. Um, and it was the only time we'd ever seen it, really, and it was a bit disappointing. Oh, Penge Cupboard's levelled up again. Oh, this is wonderful. Well done, Penge Cupboard. Right, so your specialisation is currently in anaesthesiology, but I think we get advanced diagnosis. I think we give that to you because you're one of our kind of frontline doctors and so you want to do the advanced diagnosis just in case you're struggling with diagnosing whatever it is first. You can do, you know, you can dig a little bit deeper kind of thing. Yeah, okay, let's do that, shall we? Advanced diagnosis for Dr. Penge. Dr. Penge is a fellow. Well done, Dr. Penge cupboard. That is very, very good. You've tried very hard and you've worked really well to get up to that level. That is very impressive indeed. A little more money coming in. We're on about 20 grand. And look at that. It's only just gone past the end of lunchtime. So yeah, we're going to have quite a bit of cash to play with. I mean, yeah, we need to sort out our lab over here as well. We need to put in the hematology. No, not hematology. That's hematology. The microbacteria. What is it? The microbiology lab and the other one. The hexagons lab. That one there. The one where they play with hexagons. What's that? The histology lab. So yeah, we need to get both of those in as well. So that needs a bit of money coming in. So, I mean, really, yeah, we're just waiting for cash. We're just waiting for cash. But that's looking healthy. That's looking like a very, very healthy amount of money indeed. Um, can we treat another 11 people? Because if we do... Oh, hang on. I've clicked. Hang on. Hang on. There's somebody in the shop. There's somebody in the gift shop. Hello, Christopher Hall. You're visiting Lisa Barkley. And you're waiting in the gift shop. Where is Lisa Barkley? She's got carpal tunnel syndrome. So she's in the hospital in the orthopedics bit. But yeah, you're waiting over here. Oh no, where's <laughs> where's TJ Potts? TJ Potts, where are you? Somebody's waiting to buy a thing. Can you please come back really quickly? Because you don't seem to be doing a very good job of this. You seem to be missing all of our, all our customers. Please, please arrive, TJ Potts. This person wants to buy, I don't know, a t-shirt or a bunch of flowers or something. There's TJ Potts. TJ Potts is going to go and sit down. And there we go. Yes. Hello. What would you like, says TJ? I'd like to buy a present, says uh, Christopher Hall. And then TJ Potts says, oh, okay. Yeah, fine. Don't you worry about it. Hang on. You have to go and get the stuff. Why don't you just take it off the shelf yourself? Why does TJ Potts have to go and furnish you with the gift? He doesn't know what. He doesn't know what Lisa Barkley likes. But okay, yay, smiley faces all round. It got $50 for one of those little plants. Good grief. Okay, <laughs> that's quite good. Well done, TJ Pods. I mean, we pay you $209. So yeah, that's kind of offsetting the uh, the damage against your wage. But still, $50 for a plant. That, that's pretty good going. Wow, we've uh, we've ramped the, um, the prices up there. If we could see another three people, we'd complete that goal. That'd be wonderful. Come on, come on. Are we even open? I don't... Yeah, we're open until six. So we've got half an hour left to treat three people. And it's perfect because, yeah, 25% more, more people have come in. 48. Come on. You've got, you've got whatever it is. 15 minutes left. Just go, yep, yeah, you're all fine. Bye. It might be there's nobody here. It looks like nobody's actually here for us to treat. That might be it. Uh, there were still four patients waiting. Really? Where? 
I can't see them. Oh, there's one over there being treated. And one's left. Bother. 49! No! We got to 49! Can we not go over here? Is one of these not treated? Nah, botherations. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We were so close, but yet so far. Never mind. It, it's all fine. It's all fine. It, it's still, yeah, it's still moving in the right direction. Right, okay. Speed time on. Let's get to the end of the day shift. So get to the end about eight o'clock. Then all the wages come out. 30 grand though. So the wages will come out for the day shift. And then we'll know what cash we have to play with. And then we can finish the hospitalization stuff. It should all be very exciting indeed. Um, okay, so we're down to 21 grand. That's absolutely loads. That is more than enough. Okay, this is splendid stuff. Right, we need to do some... Um, shuffling around of these things so at the minute i'm just going to kind of push everything out of here which is fine um and then we're going to hang on a minute where's the doors um i haven't figured out how to move doors yet i can't figure out how to move them i'm not entirely sure if you can pick up a mover door once it's down um so what we'll do is we'll just we'll get rid of that we'll get rid of the doors that's fine and then i think we do need to put a bathroom in We've got to get a bathroom in because it's just not going to... It's a long walk. If you're over here and you need the loo, it's a long old walk to go all the way there to the toilet through the middle of the hospital. So you kind of want it nearby, on your doorstep, as it were. So I think we put the loo right there. We put the toilets there. Um, I think, however, do you want to grab... Uh, where was it? These ones over here. Uh, hang on. How How big are these? How big is that? If I can just... Grab anything. Foundations, that'll do. So that is 10 by 5. Okay, so how long is this? That is 10. It's perfect. Yes, we'll have one of those, please. Uh, right, so grab that as a prefab thingamajig. And then just go, uh, yeah, we'll have all of that, please. And boom. Is that 10 by 5? It certainly looks like 10 by 5. Right, rotate it round and rotate rotate so the door's in the right place right so pop that there it's going to cost a lot of money uh it cost oh only 2664 minutes i am very surprised by this oh okay that's cheaper than i thought it was ever going to be and uh, we have got to um change the color of the walls and the doors and all that kind of stuff but uh yeah okay let's do that now shall we so let's go to here we shall drop a the oh i don't like that much hang on a minute and it's the wall isn't it so dropper the wall change it to that to blue and then we'll just draw that on because it's supposed to be the blue color that we like because it's in this department and it's going to get complicated if we change it around right there we go like oh like that across the back and then i think if we go to doors we can change can we change the color of these doors um hang on can we do we can drop the doors hang on because yeah it's a wc door but we want them to be blue so can we just click oh yeah we've got to replace all the doors okay <laughs> it's a bit of a faff but that's okay right so that's now the doors in and i think the bathroom also has a window in pretty much the exact right place where it needs to be right so now there's a bathroom over here. That should make life a little bit easier for the people staying over here. And what have we got left to play with? About 16, no, is that 16 or 18? Come out of the way. 18 and a half grand. That is more than enough. Okay, right, here we go. So we take out that wall there. So get rid of you. And then how big is this space now? So that space is, what's that, nine. So I think... The doctor room is four and the nurse room is five because the nurse room has to have all sorts of extra bits and bobs in. So I think that will do the job. In fact, when I make it so it's three and six, can we actually have that room that small? I'm not entirely sure. Hang on a second. Um, the nurses, hang on a minute, wrong bit. There we go. The on-call room has to be four by three. Yeah, so I think we can make the on-call room like that because it's quite a long room. And the nurses' station's got loads more bits and bobs in. It's got wheelchairs and stretchers and meal trays and cabinets and things. Whereas the doctor on call room just has, you know, like laptops and desks and things. So it's not so bad. 
So I think, yes, that is exactly how we do this. Um, okay, so we can move that to there. We shall move that to there. Can we move that window? Can we do that? We'll copy that. We'll copy the window and put it there. And then we'll get rid of that one. So that's more centered in that room now, which is good. Uh, we'll also get rid of that one. And we'll drop that one and put that like that. Okay. Uh, is that the right way around? Yeah, I think it is. I spent another $30 on the same window. Yay. Uh, right. And then move the chairs to there and the chairs to there. Right. So the doctor's room, when we put a wall in, which we're going to grab that one. So like that. And spinity spin. Like that. Uh, the doctor's room does need a door, of course. That that would help. A door would be useful, wouldn't it? Hang on a second. Um, let's have a restricted area door. So like that. Okay. And then that can be the nursery room. So I think that room is ready. That room is done on a very basic level. We need to put more bits and bobs in. They need to have bookshelves and bookcases and a coffee table and some like a radio and such like. But right now, that will do. And then the nurses... How about the nurses go along this wall here? So again, the two machines like that, so the two desks and computers, they can pop there with that and that. And then what else do we need in here then? So we're going to need equipment cabinets. How about we have the tall ones? Um, we could have the wall mounted one. A few people have said if you have a wall mounted one, you can then put um, you can put things underneath it. So you could put like a little corner cabinet thing. And that's what we might do. So we'll have that and then a corner cabinet underneath. And then you could put something on the corner cabinet, which I do quite like the idea of. Uh, we'll have a few of those just along there like that look. Um, for some reason, that's... Why, is it... why aren't you happy with that one? Not quite sure the problem is there. But okay, so we'll have some of those look. Um, and then, yeah, we can just put stuff in here. We need We need to get some meal trays. So they could possibly go... Uh, along here maybe so we'll have two of those and then we need some stretchers um i mean i don't know if there's any difference between these so if we just have one two stretchers and then we have some wheelchairs over here as well in fact can we make them orange can we make the wheelchairs orange please i'd quite like an orange. no let's have, let's have different colors let's have a range of wheelchairs and we could ask people what they'd like oh i quite like that um yeah, okay. So that'll do for now, I think. I think that is now a valid room. Again, we need to tart it up a bit, is it? Well, oh, do you know what? It's not complete, actually. Hang on, I tell a complete lie. Um, yeah, that needs to go in next to the desks and over there as well. And um, yeah, we need bins. We have to have bins. We want to keep the place nice and tidy. So a bin, and as you walk in, a bin. There we go. And I think, hang on, trauma tools. They sound like a useful thing to have. They should possibly go in a nurse's station. That sounds useful. Um, and yeah, what do we want in the corner? What fun thing do we want in the corner? Um, a flower. Oh, we can't put the flower over there. We could put the flower in, in the window, look. Should we do that? Yay, there's a little flower. <laughs> That's quite nice. Oh, do you know what, actually? Clock. Uh, we'll have a clock and we shall have a clock on that side. Do you know what might be useful, actually? A clock on the... Um, behind the computers as well so i can look up even the computers have got a time on them but there we go and i think for now we'll leave that because it should all be ready to go i think now all we need to do is hire some people and then we'll have it all sorted yeah two stretchers so yes we want some day staff and some night staff so yeah it just says we need one of each oh this is very exciting okay i mean let's do let's do the nurses first because they're wonderful right so we shall get ourselves um yeah two in the day i think and one at night although does that make sense because at night people might come in in an emergency capacity you might have a car crash at two in the morning um okay hang on we'll definitely get one person in um okay what is all that up there doctor advanced diagnosis nurses okay nurse in nurses station with qualification patient care clinical nurse specialist uh what does that mean? Do we want somebody with that? Do we need somebody with with patient care? It would make sense, wouldn't it? They've all got patient care, but it says naught out of one. Uh, a clinical nurse specialist. Oh, hang on. Sarah Hall is good at patient care and also a good clinical nurse specialist. Ooh, 
That's exciting. Oh, Frank Wright is also pretty good. And Barbara Hill is good as well. 59% patient care, 39% on your clinical nurse specialist, and you're a bit cheaper. And you've got no hidden skill thingamajiggers. Um, yeah, see, Sarah Hall does have a few of the little perk thingamajigs that are not great. Um, how about then we get Barbara Hill? So you go to patient care and you can do your clinical nurse thingamajigs. And uh, yeah, we'll change the names at the end. We'll employ lots of people first and then we shall go and change names. So then we'll get a night staff person. So these are all completely different people, are they? Oh no, right. So we filter it and it comes back on this again. So how about then we have... I mean, Sarah Hall is very good. So she works better at night, which is perfect. She does eat a bit more. Uh, but she moves faster. I think that's okay. Let's get Sarah Hall. So there we go. So we've got one nurse working at night, one in the day. Then we need a, a day doctor and a night doctor. But then I think we will get another person for the day shift, just in case. Um, sure, let's get the nurse for the day now, actually. Um, okay, hang on. Oh, look at that. Medical surgery. <gasps> We could get Linda Moore in. She can do medical surgery. That sounds amazingly useful. Um, or, what's that? Can we filter on that or that? Um, nurse in nurse station with qualification. Patient care. Okay, yeah, that's what we had before. I mean, how about you? Dana or Dana Walker. Rest levels decrease slower. That's quite good. You're not at the top of your game quite yet, but you'll get there. You're only 29. You're 29. You've got you've got many years to go until you, you know, retire and such like. So that could be quite handy. You've got loads of time left to get a bit better. Patient care 49. Medical surgery 9%. That's got to be handy to have you on board. So, okay, we'll get you as well for the day. And then night shift, we need, yeah, two doctors in the day, I'd say, and one at night. So let's get, um, I don't know, let's get a night doctor, shall we? Um, crikey, oh, this is going to be so costly. It's going to be so expensive. Um, okay, so we want somebody who is good at all of this stuff. Doctor. Um, I'm a bit confused about, hang on, doctor in the on-call room, specialised in acute medicine. Um, oh, hang on. That's it now, isn't it? So these are all acute medicine specials. Elizabeth Wilson is very good. Elizabeth Wilson is amazing. Look at that. Do we not need somebody who can operate? I thought maybe that's what we might need. General medicine, diagnosis, advanced diagnosis, acute medicine. She's very expensive, is Elizabeth Wilson, but my goodness me, she's absolutely fabulous. Uh, yeah, let's get you in. Did I get you for the day or the night? You're the night shift. No, do you know what? We're going to move you over. You can go over to the day shift because you're really good. Um, and you can be joined by another person on the day shift. Um, oh, I'm filtering. Right, okay. Hang on a minute. They're the ones we've got, is it? Uh, advanced diagnosis. We Maybe we should get an anaesthetics person as well, just in case. Um, Casey Cole, 68 years old. You have dirty feet. Um, but you are a diagnostic genius. That's quite good. But do we need you to be doing that? Because you're not... You, we're kind of picking you for the anaesthetic ability. Um, maybe we'll just pick you and you can just work on the day shift as well. That could be quite good because you're quite good at acute medicine. General medicine's pretty good. Diagnosis is good. Um, Linda Miller, though, is very good as well. What's that? Hard worker... And a diagnostic genius. Okay, we're going for Linda Miller. There you go, Linda Miller coming in in the day. Uh, and then we need a night shift person. So, okay, who would like to come in and work in the night shift? Um, who have we got? Can we can we click on these again? Do we need... I mean, Casey Cole could come in. Thomas Adams, however, looks like a better candidate. Again, very expensive. But, um, yeah, just a better overall person. So, yeah, okay, Thomas Adams in you come. And we now have it up and running. We have hospitalization set up at emergency, everybody. I don't really know what this means for us, but my goodness me, we're going to find out very soon. <laughs> this is very exciting. Oh, hang on. Uh, I've just noticed something. Oh, uh, ah, right. Okay. Our new, that's a bit confusing. Treat 20 patients per day at emergency. We've completed that objective. Increase clinic patients per day to 15. Did, uh, what? We've not treated 20 patients per day at emergency. Oh, no, just generically at emergency, not the hospitalisation bit. Oh, 
Okay, yay, we completed a thing. Okay, that's good. And um, I have just noticed over here, um, emergency restroom. We need to make that a restroom for emergency and not orthopedics. Um, okay, that's good. Ah, yes, and this thing here, yeah, the whatever it is, the thing that I was supposed to put next to the bed. I put it in the wrong place. Hang on a minute. Let's go move that, shall we? Um, yeah, it's supposed to be on that wall there. There we go. It's like a little light, isn't it? And you can, I don't know, plug things in and do stuff with it. But yeah, I put it on the outside wall. Thank you, commenting people, for pointing it out because I didn't spot that at all. Okay, so now that's all set up and running. We've still got 16,300 left. I thought we'd have hardly any money. Right, do you know what? I think it's time for floors because I don't like the fact that that's yellow. It Well, whatever that is, peach or whatever. It makes me sad. Right, so let's drop that floor and we'll just draw that straight down like that oh that's so much better that's so much better already um and then we shall have well hang on what are the um what are they like over here they've both got the same floor by the look of it so yeah drop of that one it's that one at the bottom and the nurse's one is the same okay so yeah we'll have that the same over here then so they can all have the same floor for only 300 money it's a bargain and then over here i imagine we're just going to want tiles but um i mean yeah do we want just medium white ceramic tiles uh, or small ones or do we have blue ones light tinted tiles hang can we have a sample can we have a sample do you know what that looks okay i quite like that there we go wonderful stuff okay that looks a little bit better now and um, quite a few people did say is it a good idea to have a door to the outside of your hospital that goes straight into your kind of trauma center er room um i mean i don't i don't really know but in my mind it's quicker it's quicker to get the ill people in and you know get them operated on why do we need a little corridor going somewhere to this room when they can just go straight into this room they can be pitched straight into the room which is going to save their lives no time for dilly dallying with pushing them down a corridor on a stretcher or whatever and walking them all the way down here that's a big old waste of time no just put them straight in just straight in the door boom operate life saved go and have a sit down and a cup of tea and a biscuit that kind of thing so that was my logic there that was what i was thinking with that um okay here we go so hang on what's our new goal then save a patient after one collapse. Okay, next one intern available for hire will be a great candidate. We can hire interns going, okay. Um, okay, so let's see what happens here. Right, so we've got many people. Some of them are gonna go home though, of course, because we have got the day shift and the night shift. Ah, I know what I haven't done. I haven't done the wheel of names. Hang on a second, this is crucially important. Oh, dearie me. Um, right, okay, so let's click on you then. So, right, so we've got Sarah Hall, and we've got Barbara Hill. So they're the... Oh no, hang on, there's somebody else around the door. Hang on, let's move time on. There we go, just so I can see everybody. Right, so we've got the three nurses and the three doctors. Is that right? Is that what we did? Yeah, three nurses, three doctors. Okay, so six new people are going to join our wonderful medical staff. So that means we have to go and spin the wheel of names six times. But yeah, okay, fine. Here we go. Let's go and do some spinning. Okay, so the wheel of names has spoken and we have six lovely new people joining the hospital. So here we go. Let's go and meet our new recruit, shall we? So in terms of the wonderful nurses, we've got show, nice and short. We've got bad gamer cat and we've got griff or grife possibly. And then in terms of our doctors, we've got away her and i did have to go and check how to pronounce that but yeah the person has very helpfully said you've pronounced it like away her so away her so welcome away her and then we've got intelligent cow and we've got a canther oak moon i did have to shorten that name because it did say canther rain oak moon but the game didn't like that the first name was a little bit too long so i've kind of truncated it down to a canther oak moon but there we go six new people have joined us in a new exciting department and i like that so here we go now four of them are immediate going home because uh yeah it's the end of the day but they've only just got here which is a bit weird but there we go so they don't need to do anything right now they can just go home now what i am intrigued with is how this is going to play out overnight because we don't have ambulances quite yet do we so i don't quite know who's going to come in here so is this just the moment not for immediate kind of medical care for you know somebody who's really injured like a person who would arrive in an ambulance is it just going to be one of the doctors are going to go, oh, yeah, you've got a bit of a dodgy leg. Yep, go and have an operation over here, please, in this place. I'm not entirely sure, because at the moment, 
these two are just sitting there doing, I don't know, that looks like they're on YouTube. <laughs> so I got a minute. So we've got Intelligent Cow and Bad Gamer Cat just sort of, you know, dusting around and wasting some time there. I mean, yeah, you're definitely doing a little bit of work and then you're doing a little bit of YouTube, but that's okay. And then you're going to go over there and have a little break in the staff room. That's okay. We do need to get a big um, kind of cafeteria thing. And also, we do need to plan for elevators. I've kind of completely forgotten about that. Um, okay, things are back to normal. That's all very good. Um, yeah, we do need to kind of plan a little bit for elevators. I'm not quite sure what we can do with that. But, um, but yeah, I suppose we could put one over here, maybe. We could put an elevator over there. That would be quite handy. There's a bit of a gap for that. I suppose we could fit one over here. We could put one over here and just kind of build the rest of the radiology thing around there. That's where one other one could go. Got a little bit of room over here. We could put one there. I mean, ideally, we'd want one over here somewhere. Maybe we could put one kind of around here, maybe, or something. Maybe put one over there so we can you know, go up to the next floor over here a bit. And then maybe one over here and a couple in that corner as well. Because we don't just want, you know, like four or something. Because that's not really enough. We need quite a few to move people around the hospital a you know, little bit easier. So I think, yeah, we do need to get quite a few elevators slash lifts in i'm saying elevator because that's what it calls it in the game but here in the uk we call it a lift we won't really say it's an elevator but yes we do need to try and remember to put those in because um yeah i think it was um dave over the wee hours that did comment and say it's really fiddly if you like, build your whole hospital and go there there we go right i need to put some elevators in it's a bit of a faff to then have to work out which bits the hospital you want to knock down or move or reshape or whatever to then get your elevators put in. So, um, so yeah, we'll try and kind of factor them in. We know they're four by four, so we know how big they are. So yeah, we should be able to work it out. Right, here we go. So straight on until morning, let's have a look what happens over here then. I'm very intrigued. I'm very intrigued. We went to great lengths to get this all set up. So is anything going to happen with this now? I don't know. I really don't know. So here come day shift. Okay, so now... We've got who have we got? So we've got away her. Uh, somebody's cleared off to get some breakfast, I think. So we have away her. We've got show. We've got Griff. And we've got Acanthor Oak Moon. So they're all on duty, but nothing is going on over here. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, oh, right. Hang on a minute. You've been incorrectly diagnosed. Yeah, now look, microbial sampling. That's the medical lab things, isn't it? We could do a differential diagnosis. We could do that. Most of our doctors can do that, I think. That's quite exciting. Okay, so we'll um, we'll give that a go. So either she's intolerant to lactose or she's got... Hang on, what's that? Amoebiasis. What is that? Amoebiasis is caused by entamoeba his. Dolitica. Oh, what? I don't know what that is. Uh, the infection spreads through water or food contaminated by feces. Okay, so it's like a horrible bacterial kind of thing. Yeah. Um, Joseph Clark, nail fungus for athletes. For, again, we're going to go for nail fungus because we have seen that quite a few times. We shall help you out with that one, doctors. Um, okay, another clavicle thing. Oh, crikey. Okay, we send you away. But yeah, there is still work to do. There is still work to do. We've kind of invested a great deal of money in this down here and nothing is going on. <laughs> We're paying all the staff loads of money and just nothing is happening down here. Can somebody, I don't know, bring somebody in and do an operation or something? Because this all feels like a, a huge waste of time and effort right now. It's, nothing's happening at all. I mean, do, do we need to bring somebody back who's collapsed? Would anybody like to collapse? Oh, hang on, hang on. You're using a machine. Oh, hang on, what were you doing? Hang on, hang on, what's going on here? You've got uh, Fraser King is hospitalised, transported to examination. Um, you've got uh, either pork tapeworm or hepatic fibrosis. I don't know what that second one is. So a pork tapeworm is a thing living in your digestive system. That's a bit grim. Um, hepatic fibrosis represents an accumulation of scar tissue in the liver. Okay, that also sounds unpleasant. So are you? Oh, you're going down here. You're going down here. Quick, get off, get off YouTube, Acanthor Oak Moon. Okay, so you're coming into here to have a little bit of an examination. Okay, you've kind of been chucked very unceremoniously onto there, but that's okay. And uh, yes, Doctor Oak Moon is doing some good stuff. Doctor Oak Moon saying, "Yep, okay, hang on a minute. I'm just gonna do the medical stuff." 
Here I am doing the doctoring. Hang on, let's put it on a bit. Right. So does that help? Have we figured out what it is yet? Do we know? Are you looking at a board? It's pork tapeworm, everybody. All right, so now how do we deal with that? How do we deal with that exactly? Um, active treatments, observation. Right. So you're going to go back into here. Oh, no. Yeah, you're going to go back into there. Of course, we've got two doors, haven't we? So you're going to go into there and just have a little sit down. And maybe, maybe the problem with this is that we can't fit anybody else in the observation room. So people aren't being sent here. Perhaps, hang on a second, clear all those notifications out of the way. Um, let's get, if we drip drop this, can we go, uh, yep, I'd like to grab that, please. And then put that there. It's going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive because those machines on the wall that go bing and keep you alive are not cheap. But I think we should get another one of those. In fact, you know what? Whilst we're here, this room is going to change around. But whilst we're here like this, why don't we get a third bed in? There we go. Right, so let's see if that makes any difference. Does that mean that more people can come in here now? I don't know. Right, Chappie's left. So Chappie with the pork tapeworm has been diagnosed. And he's going to get, oh, he's going to get a load of stuff from the pharmacy. Where is the pharmacist? Pharmacist, there's a bit of a queue. Ah, right, okay, 150 monies, very nice. 20 monies, 170 monies, wow. 20 monies, there's, there's our guy. 370 monies to treat the pork tapeworm. Quah, that's fantabulous. There's somebody else over here, look. Got Thomas Williams, has a mandibular fracture. Uh, mandible, is that your jaw? Fracture of the jaw. Uh, often includes a break in two places usually causes decreased ability to open the mouth, as it would do. Oh, look at this. This is wonderful. Are you going to go for an operation as well? Are you going to come down here? Oh, this is wonderful. I kind of thought this would be for more, like, you know, an ambulance drives up and chucks somebody out the back of an ambulance on a stretcher saying, quickly, this person's been involved in a car crash and they need an emergency operation to do the thing that will save them. And they come in here, but no, it seems to be a bit more, you know, sort of dealing with all sorts of different things. It's not just specifically for emergencies. It's dealing with all sorts of different complaints. Okay, that's good. Right, Linda Wilson, what's going on with you? It's nail fungus, Linda Wilson. It's obviously nail fungus. Please stop being silly about this, doctors. We must be able to diagnose that. We need to go and get those other labs set up. We need to get them done. Uh, what are the other goal things? Save a patient after one collapse. And then enable hospitalization at the intensive care unit. Um, I mean, yeah, the intensive care unit is that, isn't it? I mean, that's going to be... Oh, that's going to be a load more money to get that set up. Look at it. We need an on-call room, a nurse's station, an actual intensive care unit, and a cleaning closet. Well, it's not required, but we'll get one anyway, because yeah, you want to be tidy around there. It's a hospital. Um, and the other bits and bobs as well. And yeah, you need all sorts of stuff. Okay, it's going to take a while for us to get one of those in, because we need quite a bit of money. But okay, there we go. At least that's kind of... Uh, at least that's looking okay. At least it has been in use, our new bit down here. Got about 29 grand. We're going to pay out quite a bit in wages, though, I think. Because, yeah, the people down here are expensive. We've got some more night staff now. But, yeah, OK, never mind. Never mind. It's OK. We can we can afford the wages thing. We're over 30 grand. So let's see when it gets to eight o'clock what our money plummets down to. Let's go and have a little look, shall we? So it's going to come down to about what, 20 grand, you reckon? 20 grand ish. Yeah, just, yeah, just under. That wasn't a bad guess. Um, so I think what we'll do is, to finish today off, let's go and sort out these other two labs here. Because we do need these eventually. So let's put in a microbiology lab and histology lab into our big sort of super lab over here. And that should do the job for this bit. And that means we can diagnose nail fungus and probably various other bits and bobs as well. So um, they look very similar. They look very similar in terms of what they need. So, um, yeah, let's just kind of set these up nice and quick. I don't think it'll even take that long. It just looks like we have to put a desk in and various other bits and bobs. And, yeah, we can put like the storage sample thing, as we discussed last time. We can put that backing onto that just there. So that's fine. Um, and, yeah, when your lab sync, look, that can go backing onto that one. So, um, yeah, it'll all be fine. We can just sort of, I don't know what a fume hood is. Um, hang on. Can we put that there? Um... I don't know. Where can we put a fume hood? 
Oh, it's got to go on a wall. Oh, because it goes outside. Of course it does. Hang on. Yes, I know what that is. Yes. Okay, so we put one of those there. Right, so let's get all of these things in because this might take a little while to get sorted. So let me just chuck down all the different items and bits and bobs that we need to get the microbiology lab in and the histology lab in unless we run out of money. I mean, we'll start in the microbiology lab first and we'll see what cash we have left to play with. Okay, so maybe I underestimated just a teeny tiny little bit exactly how much money it costs to get one of these medical labs all up and running and to kit them out with all the bits and bobs they need because yeah this one here is now all ready to go but yeah we're down to 8,700 monies it was quite costly to get all that done I mean yeah there are quite a few expensive bits and bobs the microscope alone so one microscope which is sitting on that very fancy kind of lab cabinet thing the microscope was $899 the lab cabinet was $369 and then there's a microbiological incubator just there which on its own was 1,200 monies and then, of course, we had to buy that kind of fridge thingamajig, wherever that is, sample storage. That's 2400 And we had to buy the desk and that kind of fume hood thing, whatever it was, and various other bits and bobs as well. And, of course, there's some plants and some bins and things like that. In fact, is that bin just on its own in the middle of nowhere? Let's move that over. Um, but yeah, I think it does look quite good. It does look good. And I do like how it does back onto the stuff over there in the sort of the blood lab type thing. Because, yeah, they've got their kind of their little whatever that thing is again, what is it? Sample storage thing on their side and then backing onto it is the sample storage for the microbiology lab thing just there. So that works out quite well and the sinks are the same as well. Uh, there is one bit actually, hang on, where is it? Just uh, it's there, I think. Do we need to put something there? Because there's a little kind of table thing just there with some... I don't know what they are, beakers or something on them, but there's nothing kind of backing onto that. I think that's okay. I think we've spent enough money on that as it is. And we've put some little nice things as well. We've put some little kind of glass bits and bobs over there. And we've got ourselves some wall-mounted lab shells. And we've put some files down. And there's a thing over here with some kind of glass work stuff on as well. So it does look very good. Um, all we need is a person to work here. We need a microbiologist. So let's go and find somebody, shall we? So we're... Uh, Hang on a second. Why can't we? Oh, no, that's the intensive care unit. That's not going to work. There we go. That's a bit better. So I think they only need to work in the daytime. I can't really see them being very busy doing microbiology overnight. So how about we employ somebody in the day? It's going to be one of you two in the middle. So um, what have we got? Advanced biochemistry, 25% for Frank Smith and biochemistry, 35%. Or we've got Fraser Adams, Biochemistry, 81%. That is very good. That is significantly better than Frank's there. Uh, and you've got USG. USG technologist is capable of operating ultrasonographic devices. Uh, you're not going to be doing that. You're not going to be doing that. I would rather... I'd rather get you in. I'd rather get Frank in. So he's got biochemistry, 35%. That can get better. He is a master scientist. But then, yeah, advanced biochemistry... So he's got, you know, a good understanding of biochemistry and then he can do it on an advanced level as well. Um, yeah, I know you've got 81%, but yeah, we don't need you to do your ultrasonographic thingamajigs because we need you to do biochemistry stuff. Um, yeah, let's get Frank Smith. Let's get Frank Smith in. And you're a little bit cheaper as well than Fraser Adams. So there you go. Frank Smith joins us as a microbiologist, technologist person. However... We're not going to call you Frank Smith. Of course we're not. Right, so who's going to be dealing with whatever you do over here in the microbiology lab? Who's going to be dealing with microbiologies? And the Wheel of Names has chosen Kaushal Lalani. Apologies if I've said that incorrectly. I might well have done, but there we go. So Kaushal Lalani has joined us as one of our wonderful technologists, one of the science people back in the labs doing clever sciencey stuff. So I think... They will appear, won't they? They'll kind of teleport into their desk, but then they'll go home again, I think, because clearly it's home time. So maybe, I think because we employed them after eight o'clock, we don't pay for their wage, do we? I don't think we've paid them for a day's wage because they've only just joined. But there we go. So we've got another lab set up. So that's quite good. So I think what we'll do is we'll finish up for now because the big goal was to get that up and running. And OK, it's not perfect. It's not brilliant. This room needs a little bit of work and we need to put some more stuff down into here because like the doctor's room is a bit sad, isn't it? It's got two desks in. It does have a lovely plant. That's quite nice. But, you know, they need more things in here. Oh, and they need, hang on, one thing they do need is a proper wall, actually. Hang on a second. Hang on. No, I don't like the fact the wall isn't done properly. Not done that very well. Hang on a second. Pop the wall in. 
Um, is the wall on the other side good? Yeah, I think it's all looking good now. There we go. Um, but yes, we do need to add some more lovely kind of decorative bits and bobs into there. And the nurse's office as well, that needs you know, maybe a TV or a radio or something for them just to go and have a little bit of fun. They've got a flower in the window. That's quite nice. I see you playing solitaire. <laughs> it's fine. You crack on. Nothing else is happening. Um, so yeah, we've got all that set up. So I think as time goes on, we'll try and make this a bit better. We'll try and add some more beds over here and expand that room and add some more stuff over here. But yeah, that's kind of in now. And at the moment, it will cope at a very basic level. So I think next time what we should focus on is maybe getting the other radiology stuff in. Because yeah, we are lacking a number of things in radiology. We need a CT scan, an MRI scan. And then yeah, we want to get a corridor up here with all sorts of other bits and bobs in as well that will help diagnose more people. So I think that's what we need to do. So we'll try and work on that next time if we have enough money to do so. Because yeah, also I wouldn't mind getting that final lab set up. Because, you know, we've got kind of you know, the two labs set up. We need to get... What was it again? I can't remember what it was. The the hexagons lab. The histology lab in. I'm not really sure what that is, but okay. They have a medical centrifuge. That sounds very exciting. And, um, oh, and a stool analyzer. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Maybe we should build a wall between these two. <laughs> between this one and these over here. They might not quite so be you know, so fond of the uh, of this stool analyzer over in microbiology and the whatever it is the blood plays but do you know what it's fine they shall have to deal with it it's one big super lab and that's how we're going to do things now but i mean yeah that's 800 quid 800 dollars sorry that thing down there that's 800 microscope is 900 medical centrifuge is 800 so it's going to be a bit expensive to get that in as well but i would like to get that done and that would complete the medical labs i think that's kind of it patient can't be released from observation. A patient should continue to an emergency clinic, but it's currently closed. We'll try to hospitalise the patient at the department instead. What's closed? Lactose intolerant, hospitalised and sleeping. You you just carry on doing the thing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that means that the medical labs will be complete. If we do that, that'll be finished. It'll all be done. And then we don't really need to worry about that ever again. So that'd be quite nice if we could get that done. Just have a little kind of medical lab core of the hospital and then that can just carry on doing you know, all the work for the rest of the people in the hospital forevermore. But there we go. We'll try and get that done next time as well. And um, and yeah, I'll pretend I understood what that message said there. I'm not entirely sure who can't be put into what or where. But never mind. There's somebody over here. What is it? Christopher Davis. Lactose intolerant. Where are you? So you're... Is that you being operated? I know you're just there. Well, you seem to be all right. You're over there, you're being hospitalised, being looked after by the wonderful intelligent cow. I think it's fine. I think you're fine. You've got a bed. It's okay. So there we go. I don't quite know what that was about. But there we go. That's all sorted. Well done, Dr. Cow. You've sorted it out. Very, very impressive indeed. Um, oh, and we've treated 50 people in one day. Oh, because that person there counted as somebody who's been treated. And now they've become invisible. <laughs> where, where have they gone? Where, oh, okay, right, he was putting his clothes on, but invisibly. Oh, well, then you, that's, that's quite the trick. Okay, so now we've done that. Now we've got 50 people treated. So we're going to get a little bonus to our, whatever it was, to our prestige, was it? Um, okay, so now it's telling us to buy two ambulances, but we can't buy two ambulances until we enable hospitalisation at the intensive care unit. But we're not going to build that for a while because that's going to cost loads of money and we don't have loads of money. So, um, so yeah, right, hang on. Pause time because things keep happening as I'm jibber jabbering along. So let's pause time. Let's stop things happening and we shall indeed finish up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Project Hospital. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. These people are eating the tables. They're just devouring the tables. They're so hungry. There's no atmosphere at all. Were you sat in the car park? <laughs> are you sure you came to the right place? Mein Knien stan in Brand. <laughs> if you want to order meatballs made of snails, you need to be really certain about this. 